Robert and his little sister Mary live in Tanzania. They have cattle and goats and a small farm next to their house. Robert helps his father by watching the goats, and Mary helps her mother wash the clothes and cook the beans. Sometimes Robert and Mary fetch water from the water hole together. They splash each other with cool water on hot days. One day it was very hot. When they got to the water hole, there was a big surprise waiting for them. There was a family of elephants. There were big elephants and small elephants and medium-sized elephants. There were boy elephants and girl elephants. Some were dry and standing around the water hole eating grass and leaves. Some were wet from swimming and playing in the water. Robert and Mary climbed up a nearby tree to watch and wait for the elephants to leave. While they were waiting, two young elephants walked over to stand in the shade of the tree. They stood right below where Robert and Mary were sitting. The elephants looked up and saw Robert and Mary. Their mother taught them to be scared of people, so they took a few steps backwards feeling very nervous. Robert and Mary looked down in fright. They were scared of the elephants, just like the elephants were scared of them. Mary hid behind Robert. The elephants were very big. They had long trunks and wrinkly gray skin and huge gray ears that flapped in the breeze. Robert and Mary were much, much smaller compared to the elephants they had tiny ears and noses and smooth black skin. One of the elephants said, My name is Thomas and this is my little sister Teresa. Then he asked, Who are you? I'm Robert and this is my little sister Mary, replied Robert. Robert looked thoughtfully at the elephants below. You are an elephant and elephants can hurt people, Robert pointed out. Well, Thomas replied, you are a human and humans can hurt elephants too. I think we're supposed to be scared of each other, Mary said to the elephants peeking out from behind her brother's back. But Mary liked the elephants. She bent over and reached down her hand and Teresa lifted up her trunk. Very gently, Mary's fingers touched the end of Teresa's trunk. I can pick things up with my fingers, boasted Mary wriggling her fingers in the air. I can pick things up with my trunk, Teresa responded, swirling her trunk around a branch and picking off a tiny leaf with the end of her trunk. The girls smiled at each other. Robert looked at the other elephants at the water hole. He saw that the elephant brothers and sisters were playing and splashing the same way that he and Mary did. I like to play in the water hole too, he said to Thomas, just like you. How old are you? asked Thomas. I'm nine years old. Me too, exclaimed Robert. And Mary is five. Teresa was five years old too. They were the exact same ages. Teresa said to Robert and Mary, Thomas told me that when I was born, my elephant grandmother and aunties were so excited. They all helped my mother to give birth to me. Thomas softly stroked Teresa's cheek with his trunk. Robert hugged Mary. It was the same when you were born, little sister. Our aunties and grandmother all helped and they were so happy when you arrived. Robert and Mary talked more with the elephants, Thomas and Teresa. They learned that elephant mothers and grandmothers and aunties showed all the babies in the family how to do important things like getting food and finding water and watching out for lions. Elephants love and protect their babies from harm, just like people do. Thomas remembered something inside. He was thinking how the whole elephant family was sad when their grandmother died a few years ago. Every year the herd visits the place where she died and they smell and feel her bones and her ivory tusks with their trunks. Robert and Mary remembered when their grandmother died and how their whole family was sad too. They visited the place where she was buried every year. They never knew that elephants feel sad, just like people. The children and the elephants spoke about the kinds of food they like to eat. Mostly, Thomas and Teresa eat leaves and grass, but they also think beans and vegetables are yummy. 
just like Robert and Mary do. Hey, Robert cried, we grow vegetables on our farm, but my father gets angry when elephants eat them. Then Thomas told Robert and Mary a secret. All elephants hate chili pepper powder. He said that people can remind elephants not to eat their beans and vegetables by putting chili pepper powder on fences around the farms. Thomas also said, try not to scare us, because when elephants get scared, we fight to protect ourselves, just like people do. Sometimes we accidentally hurt people because we are scared. Thomas also told Robert and Mary that life was becoming very difficult for the elephants because each year, more and more areas where they used to roam freely to find food and water are now farmlands with beans and maize or other vegetables. More and more of their family members are being hurt by people because the elephants have fewer places to go. Robert told Thomas and Teresa that when he grows up and has his own farm, he will be sure to put it in a place that is away from the areas where elephants usually roam and feed. He will tell his friends and family to take care to do the same and also to report anybody who is known to hurt elephants or take and sell their tusks. Robert and Mary and Teresa and Thomas grew quiet, thinking about all the ways that elephants and people are alike. They like to play, they're excited when a new baby is born, their families teach them important things they need to know, they're sad when someone in their family dies and they visit the burial site just to remember them. Soon, Thomas and Teresa had to go. Their elephant mother was calling for them. But before they left, they shook hands and trunks with Robert and Mary and hoped they would see each other again. They would never forget their new friends from the waterhole.